Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Surah Al-Araf. Alif Lam Mim Sad. This is a book sent down to you, O Prophet. Do not let anxiety into your heart regarding it. So with it you may warn the disbelievers and as a reminder to the believers. Follow what has been sent down to you from your Lord, and do not take others as guardians besides him. How seldom are you mindful. Imagine how many societies we have destroyed. Our torment took them by surprise while sleeping at night or midday. Their only cry when overwhelmed by our torment was, We have indeed been wrongdoers. We will surely question those who received messengers, and we will question the messengers themselves. Then we will give them a full account with sure knowledge, and for we were never absent. The weighing on that day will be just, as for those whose scale will be heavy with good deeds, only they will be successful. But those whose scale is light, they have doomed themselves for wrongfully denying our signs. We have indeed established you on earth and provided you with a means of livelihood, yet you seldom give any thanks. Surely we created you, then shaped you, then said to the angels, Prostrate before Adam, so they all did, but not Iblis, who refused to prostrate with the others. Allah asked, What prevented you from prostrating when I commanded you? He replied, I am better than he is. You created me from fire and him from clay. Allah said, Then get down from paradise. It is not for you to be arrogant here, so get out. You are truly one of the disgraced. He appealed, Then delay my end until the day of, the, of their resurrection. Allah said, You are delayed until the appointed day. He said, For leaving me to stray, I will lie in ambush for them on your straight path. I will approach them from their front, their back, their right, their left, and then you will find most of them ungrateful. Allah said, Get out of paradise. You are disgraced and rejected. I will certainly fill up hell with you and your followers all together. Allah said, O Adam, live with your wife in paradise and eat from wherever you please, but do not approach this tree, or else you will be wrongdoers. Then Satan tempted them in order to expose what was hidden of their nakedness. He said, Your Lord has forbidden this tree to you only to prevent you from becoming angels or immortals. And he swore to them, I am truly your sincere advisor. So he brought about their fall through deception. And when they tasted of the tree, their nakedness was exposed to them, prompting them to cover themselves with leaves from paradise. Then their Lord called out to them, Did I not forbid you from that tree? And did I not tell you that Satan is your sworn enemy? They replied, our, our Lord, we have wronged ourselves. If you do not forgive us and have mercy on us, we will certainly be losers. Allah said, Descend as enemies to each other. You will find in the earth a resident and provision for your appointed stay. He added, There you will live, there you will die, and from there you will be resurrected. O children of Adam, we have provided for you clothing to cover your nakedness and, and as an adornment. However, the best clothing is righteousness. This is one of Allah's bounties, so perhaps you will be mindful. O children of Adam, 
Do not let Satan deceive you as he tempted your parents out of paradise and caused their cover to be removed in order to expose their nakedness. Surely he and his and his soldiers watch you from where you cannot see them. We have made the devils allies of those who disbelieve. Whenever they commit a shameful deed, they say, We found our forefathers doing it, and Allah has commanded us to do it. Say, No, Allah never commands what is shameful. How can you attribute to Allah what you do not know? Say, O Prophet, my Lord has commanded uprightness and dedication to Him alone in worship, calling upon Him with sincere devotion. Just as He first brought you into being, you will be brought to life again. He has guided some, while others are destined to stray. They have taken devils as their masters instead of Allah, thinking they are rightly guided. O children of Adam, dress properly whenever you are at worship. Eat and drink, but do not waste. Surely he does not like the wasteful. Ask, O prophet, who has forbidden the adornments and lawful provisions Allah has brought forth for his servants. Say, they are for the enjoyment of the believers in this worldly life, but they will be exclusively theirs on the day of judgment. This is how we make our revelations clear for people of knowledge. Say, my Lord has only forbidden open and secret indecencies, sinfulness, unjust aggression, associating others with Allah in worship, a practice he has never authorized, and attributing to Allah what you do not know. For each community, there is an appointed term. When their time arrives, they can neither delay it for a moment, nor could they advance it. O children of Adam, when messengers from among yourselves come to you reciting my revelations, whoever shuns evil and mends their ways, there will be no fear for them, nor will they grieve. But those who receive our revelations with denial and arrogance will be the residents of the fire. They will be there forever. Who does more wrong than those who fabricate lies against Allah or deny His revelations? They will receive what is destined for them or until our messenger angels arrive to take their souls, asking them, Where are those false gods you used to invoke besides Allah? They will cry, They have failed us. And they will confess against themselves that they were indeed disbelievers. Allah will say, Enter the fire along with the evil groups of jinn and humans that preceded you. Whenever a group enters hell, it will curse the preceding one until they are gathered inside. The followers will say about their leaders, Our Lord, they have misled us. So multiply their torment in the fire. He will answer, It has already been multiplied for all, but you do not know. Then the leaders will say to the followers, You were no better than us, so taste the torment of what you used to commit. Surely those who receive our revelations with denial and arrogance, the gates of heaven will not be opened for them, nor will they enter paradise until a camel passes through the eye of a needle. This is how we reward the wicked. Hell will be their bed, flames will be their cover. This is how we reward the wrongdoers. As for those who believe and do good, we never require of any soul more than what it can afford. It is they who will be the resident of paradise. They will be there forever. We will remove whatever bitterness they had in their hearts. Rivers will flow under their feet, and they will say, Praise be to Allah for guiding us to this. 
we would have never been guided if Allah had not guided us. The messengers of our Lord had certainly come with the truth. It will be announced to them, This is paradise awarded to you for what you used to do. The residents of paradise will call out to the residents of the fire. We have certainly found our Lord's promise to be true. Have you too found your Lord's promise to be true? They will reply, Yes, we have. Then a caller will announce to both, May Allah's condemnation be upon the wrongdoers. Those who hindered others from Allah's way strived to make it appear crooked and disbelieved in the hereafter. There will be a barrier between paradise and hell, and on the heights of that barrier will be people who will recognize the residents of both by their appearance. They will call out to the residents of paradise, Peace be upon you. They would not have yet entered paradise, but eagerly hoped to. When their eyes will turn toward the residents of hell, they will pray, Our Lord, do not join us with the wrongdoing people. Those on the heights will call out to some tyrants of the fire, who they will recognize by their appearance, saying, Your large numbers and arrogance are of no use today. Are these humble believers the ones you swore would never be shown Allah's mercy? Finally, those on the heights will be told, Enter paradise. You have nothing to fear, nor will you grieve. The residents of the fire will then cry out to the residents of paradise, Aid us with some water or any provision Allah has granted you. They will reply, Allah has forbidden both to the disbelievers. Those who took this faith of Islam as mere amusement and play and were deluded by their worldly life, Allah will say, Today we will ignore them, just as they ignored the coming of this day of theirs, and for rejecting our revelations. We have certainly brought them a book, which we explained with knowledge, a guide and mercy for those who believe. Do they only await the fulfillment of its warning, the day it will be fulfilled? Those who ignored it before will say, The messengers of our Lord certainly came with the truth. Are there any intercessor, intercessors who can plead on our behalf? Or can we be sent back so we may do good, unlike what we used to do? They will have certainly ruined themselves, and whatever gods they fabricated will fail them. Indeed, your Lord is Allah who created the heavens and the earth in six days, then established himself on the, th on the throne. He makes the day and night overlap in rapid succession. He created the sun, the moon, and the stars, all subjected by his command. The creation and the command belong to him alone. Blessed is Allah, Lord of the Lord of all worlds. Call upon your Lord humbly and secretly. Surely he does not like the transgressors. Do not spread corruption in the land after it had, has been set in order, and call upon him with hope and, and fear. Indeed, Allah's mercy is always close to the good doers. He is the one who sends the winds ushering in his mercy. When they bear heavy clouds, we drive them to a lifeless land and then cause rain to fall, producing every type of fruit. Similarly, we will bring the dead to life, so perhaps you will be mindful. The fertile land produces abundantly by the will of its Lord, whereas the infertile land hardly produces anything. This is how we vary our lessons to those who are thankful. Indeed, we sent Noah to his people. He said, O my people, worship Allah, you have no other God except him. I truly fear for you the torment of a tremendous day. But the chiefs of his people said, We surely see that you are clearly misguided. 
He replied, O my people, I am not misguided, but I am a messenger from the Lord of all worlds, conveying to you my Lord's messenger messages and giving you sincere advice, and I know from Allah what you do not know. Do you, fi- do you find it astonishing that a, that a reminder should come to you from your Lord through one of your own, warning you so you may beware and perhaps be shown mercy? But they rejected him, so we saved him and those with him in the ark and drowned those who rejected our signs. They were certainly a blind people. And to the people of Ad, we sent their brother Hud. He said, O oh, my people, worship Allah. You have no other God except him. Will you not then fear him? The disbelieving chiefs of his people responded, We surely see you as a fool, and we certainly think you are a liar. Hud replied, O oh, my people, I am no fool, but I am a messenger from the Lord of all worlds conveying to you my Lord's messages, and I am your sincere advisor. Do you find it astonishing that a reminder should come to you from your Lord through one of your own so he may warn you? Remember that he made you successors after the people of Noah and increased you greatly in stature. So remember Allah's favors so you may be successful. They said, Have you come to us that we would worship Allah alone and abandon what our forefathers used to worship, then bring us what you threaten us with, if what you say is true. He said, You will certainly be subjected to your Lord's torment and wrath. Do you dispute with me regarding the so-called, the so-called gods, which you and your forefathers have made up, a practice Allah has never authorized? Then wait, I am, I too am waiting with you. So we saved him and those with him by our mercy and uprooted those who denied our signs. They were not believers. And to the people of Thamud, we sent their brother Saleh. He said, O oh my people, worship Allah. You have no other God be- except him. A clear proof has come to you from your Lord. This is Allah's she-camel as a sign to you. So leave her to graze freely in, on Allah's land and do not harm her or else you will be overcome by a painful punishment. Remember when he made you successors after Ad and established you in the land and you built palaces on its plains and carved homes into mountains. So remember Allah's favors and do not go about spreading corruption in the land. The arrogant chiefs of his people asked the lowly who believed them, Are you certain that Saleh has been sent by his Lord? They replied, We certainly believe in what he has been sent with. The arrogant said, We surely reject what you believe in. Then they killed the she-camel, defying their Lord's command and challenged Saleh, Bring us what you threaten us with, if you are truly one of the messengers. Then an overwhelming earthquake struck them, and they fell lifeless in their homes. So he turned away from them, saying, O oh my people, surely I conveyed to you my Lord's message, and gave you sincere advice, but you do not like sincere advisers. And remember when Lot scolded the men of his people, saying, Do you commit a shameful deed that no man has ever done before? You lust after men instead of women. You are certainly transgressors. But his people, people's only response was to say, Expel them from your land. They are a people who wish to remain chaste. So we saved him and his family except his wife who was one of the doomed. We poured upon them a rain of brimstone. See what was the end of the wicked.